I've got so much yarn, one more ball might be the straw that broke the camel's back. Hmm, I'd rather get some yarn straight from the camel's back. That makes me wonder, what's the deal with camel yarn? The camel is a not too distant relative of the alpaca. Camels are pack animals that were domesticated around the year 3000 BCE. They've been used for transportation, dairy, and meat, but people have been using camel hair for tents, bedding, and clothing for thousands of years. In fact, it's mentioned that John the Baptist wore camel hair garments in the New Testament. Like many other woolly animals, camels have a double coat a coarse top coat called guard hairs, and a soft undercoat. Camel yarn is made from that undercoat hair, which is warm, but unlike sheep's wool, it's not heavy. The highest quality hairs come from the younger camels. Camel hair is still collected by hand as it sheds naturally in late spring, but camels can also be combed or shorn. According to the Camel, a bibliographical review, these hairs measure around 16 to 18 microns, which means it's comparable to most cashmere fibers. Its natural color is, of course, camel, a light golden tan. Camels are raised in Northern Africa, the Middle East, Asia, and parts of Australia. Today, there are three breeds of camel, but most of yarn comes from the Bactrian camel, which is known for its double hump. These iconic animals can produce up to 26 pounds of hair per year. Camels from warmer climates produce less wool on average than those that live in the cold, mountainous regions. But their hair protects camels against high temperatures, and camel hair garments have been worn by desert dwellers to beat the heat. Because it's luxuriously soft and warm, you can turn to camel yarns for projects like scarves and shawls. But because it's lightweight and also keeps you cool, it's a good choice for transitional garments like cardigans that can be worn in spring and fall. Camel is often spun with other fibers to add an extra softness and loftiness to the yarn. Did you know that camels don't actually store water in their humps? Camel humps are made up of fat, which is concentrated there so that the rest of their body is kept cool. While the hump can allow camels to go up to two weeks without eating, they conserve water in other non-hump related ways. So let me know, have you ever worked with camel yarn before? If so, what did you like about it? Leave a comment below.